in my purpose on purpose. So I'm walking in my purpose on purpose. So I'm walking in my purpose on purpose. On purpose. On purpose. So I'm walking in my purpose on purpose. So I'm walking in my purpose on purpose. So I'm walking in my purpose on purpose. On purpose. So today with us on Stool Talk, we have with us a young, up-and-coming basketball player, um, great um, an academic basketball player as well, great in the classroom and on the court, one who's been putting in hard work, one whose name been ringing for having great character and just being a great student athlete. Today, we're honored to have Miss Jazz Huntley. How you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for taking the time to sit down. We wanted to spotlight you for, like I said, your hard work and um, dedication on and off the court. Um, where did this basketball journey start with you at? How old was you when you first started playing? Well, when I first started, I was in the first grade at my old school, and then it started back up in the fourth grade, and then i just been playing ever since. Okay. When did you see that you were really getting good? Like, man, I can do this. When did you see your game developing? Probably when I started, like, working harder and, like, started AAU and, like, played in a couple of tournaments. Yeah. What does hard work mean to you? Hard work means, like, doing 100%, not giving up, and just working your hardest. Yeah. What do you enjoy most about playing basketball? Um, probably meeting new people, developing more things. Yeah. How is it training and practicing with your mom and how is her coaching style? Does she be on you? Is she hard? Like, how is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, she be on me. Yeah. But it, it, uh, it, it helps. I know it helps. How, how, yeah. How, how do you feel like when she's on you? Like, how is that? Because I want you to be able to speak to a younger person or a person your age who parent might coach them as well, or a person that might want to get into sports. How is that? So let them know how it is. It might make you want to stop and stuff, but you just got to push through it and yeah. just keep going along with it. Yeah, and a lot of people who parents have coached them, those are the real successful ones because they're close. They're not allowing them to slack off because they know they potential and they know they can't run to nobody else because that's mom or dad pushing you. So yeah, that's good. do you play any other sports? Uh, no, okay. just basketball. Okay. Um, what would you say to one of your teammates that got down on themselves, whether they missed the pass or they bricked or got. Uh, uh, got the ball stolen. What would you say to them if you seen them down on themselves? I would just tell them keep going, get back on defense, and try and get the ball back, and just try it again. Yeah. What type of leader are you? Do you lead with your voc? Are you vocally, or you lead with your play? Uh, probably in between. In between. Okay. Okay. Um, can you tell us about a memorable time this season or even recently of a memorable game, a memorable play or something that happened um, that you, you know, was a good moment? Uh, probably, uh, probably when like I won like this NLL for my school uh -huh. and like when we just kept pushing and like kept going through even when we were down we kept doing our plays and kept doing other stuff and just didn't stop okay wow. and that made you feel good like you, you yeah that. yeah 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 I could tell um what aspects of your game do you feel like you need to improve probably ball handling my shooting and just yeah that's pretty much it I got everything else in like just doing my left hand 
Okay. One thing I seen and noticed about you, you're tough. Like when you get the rebound, you go back up strong. You're not timid. Like most people, they draw away from the contact. You bring in the yeah. contact to your defender. I see that. And another thing that I like about your game is when you get the rebound, you're looking to dribble up or push or, you know, give an outlet pass. You did that several yeah. times which is good and so that's some people at the high level don't do that in here you're doing it at your age so continue to keep that up and even with your ball handling like the fact that you know that is gonna make you a better player because some players they be like oh no I'm good I don't need to work on nothing you know but the fact that you know that it shows that you humble um what advice would you give to a younger player who might want to play basketball and be good at it stay in the gym work hard um, it might get tough, but just keep pushing through it. Yeah. What are your goals in basketball? Do you want to play college, WNBA? Uh, I'll play in college, but I don't think I want to play in the <laughs> WNBA. Yeah. School is important. So, you know, um, what do you what would you say to um to your team if you guys needed a, a big play and everybody was looking towards you like we need you to make this job like what would you say or how would you feel what would you feel like in that moment that I would ooh, that would be a lot of pressure but I just have to try to make the play work yeah and try to get that bucket for my team yeah I love that um what's um what skills are you really good at on the court um attacking the basket hard um what else my free throws oh so you ain't worried about them following you huh you follow them is money huh <laughs> yeah that's good that's good looking for like the open players seeing the court very good for like people who are open to give them the ball yeah um do you listen to music before the game to get you hyped up or what do you do before the game to get you motivated well, on the way to my game, I listen to my mom's music, the music she be playing. Yeah. And that's really it. Yeah. What does family mean to you? Is it, it seems you got a great family support and that is will take you a long way. What does family mean to you? Um the, I gotta think about it. Do you think like do family just family got you where you at family to support? Do you love the support? Do you love the fact that they push you? Do you love the fact that they, you know, want the best for you? Yeah. Yeah. What would what would you say to a younger kid who has one foot in, one foot out, whether playing sports or hanging around the wrong people? What would you tell them? Probably do the sports because they'll get you farther instead of like going with the bad people who Probably will get you in a lot of trouble. Life will probably go downhill. But when you do sports, you'll go farther than what they'll do. Yeah. And how how has it been playing? I just seen you got you playing with a broke finger, but I couldn't tell because you was moving like <laughs> you 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 really can handle pain. Most people they bump their hand or ah oh, they can't play they out the game. What makes you want to stay in there and, and you know fight with your teammates? Um. Well. Just to keep pushing through it because really it don't really hurt, but um, I just kept going because team needs everybody. Yeah. See, I, one thing I love about you is you keep saying team. You keep saying team, and you're a team player, and those are the ones that go far because they're not thinking about their self. Last question, I'm going to get you up out of here. Whatever comes on your heart or your mind, what would you say to a young kid that's aspiring to play basketball? What advice would you give them? Um, My advice would be if they wanted to play, to like actually find a person that will be wanting to train them to make them more successful, not to just use the money, but like just to train them to be more successful and actually get better at things. Yeah. Well, we appreciate this. Continue to work hard, continue to excel on and off the courtroom. I'm mean, off the court and in the classroom, continue to strive, continue to be that great teammate. And, you know, uh, 
you know people going to be looking for you, so don't allow that to slow you down, you know, your name. And as your game developing, you know, you'll be a top name that people will be like, we got to shut Jazz down when we play them. But that ain't yeah. down. So we appreciate you. Uh, we're spotlighting you for this time, and we thank you for taking time out on this day. Thank you. Thank you.